Dr. Nagendra Babu on the topic Management of Diabetic Foot Ulcer with Homeopathic Medicine. Dr. Nagendra Babu is currently the HOD of and Professor at Sri Sai Ram Homeopathic Medical College, Chennai, Tamil Nadu with a 20, 23 years of teaching experience. He is the Director and Chief Consultant to Dr. Nagendra's Homeo Clinic. He is conferred with the Best Doctor Award by Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University for his exemplary contribution in the field of homeopathy in the year 2012. Dr. Nagendra Babu published a book titled Comprehensive Study of Organon in 2009, a favorite book for all homeopathic students in India, Canada and New Zealand. His book, Introduction to Materia Medica, was published in 2021 by BJ Publisher India. He is also a member of PhD Screening Committee for the Faculty of Homeopathy to Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University. He has presented a paper specific in Hanimanian literature at second international seminar and conference conducted by IHCT and in Germany and IHMA. Participated and conducted and presented several papers on <coughs> national and national platforms. Welcome, Dr. Nagendra. Good afternoon, uh, my fellow doctors, distinguished juries, and uh, Government of India, Ayush Department, and uh, Honorable UAE Government for uh, providing this opportunity and uh, providing this stage for sharing our views and uh, international level. And uh, because of this, I could meet. Dr. Bindu and Dr. Sri Lanka Vinod. Uh, thank you, Madam, for that. All these days, we homeopaths are a bit hesitant, like uh, Hamlet in Shakespeare is to do, to be or not to be. When it comes to uh, challenging cases, surgical cases, of course, we have been reading, I am an original professor, we have been reading scope and limitations of homeopathy, uh, Stuart Laws, but still we are under confusion, to be frank. But today the scenario has changed and the platform, the papers that we are coming to us, it's evidence for that and we are ready to face diabetic food ulcers. We have grown up, the Irish doctors have grown up to the level of handling and answering uh, diabetic complications, not diabetic itself. And uh, I have been uh, treating cases for the past 23 years. Yes, here and there I used to handle diabetic foot ulcers with great success and good success and the, my approach is of course in certain cases classical certain cases I am not classical I can support it being a homeopathy doctor like 67 footnote Heinemann says in uh, advanced <coughs> pathological conditions sometimes we may have to avoid constitution to save the patient's limbs that perfectly up, up, apply, uh, applies to uh, these type of cases as far as this uh, paper is concerned, I limited my cases for the past one year. Diabetic foot ulcer, most of the cases is because of, as we know, everyone know, uncontrolled glucose levels and uh, peripheral neuropathy and peripheral arterial congestion. Okay, all these uh, things pathologically contribute for the development of uh, <coughs> diabetic foot ulcer. It is an integral approach. I didn't limit myself only to homeopathy. I kept my patients to be free with uh, taking hypoglycemic drugs because my intention is only to prove that homeopathy is much effective, cost effective as far as treating DFU is concerned. My concern of this paper and treatment is to save the patient's limb, which is the very challenging thing. In 15% of people suffering with diabetes will suffer with uh, diabetic foot ulcer. Our homeopathy can give a good answer to this problem. The purpose of this study, as I said, um, I am limiting my uh, cases. Today's paper is only to the past uh, one year, whatever I have uh, covered, the cases that I covered, that, that visited my clinic. The main purpose you can see to demonstrate the therapeutic effectiveness of homeopathic remedy against DFU, reduce the risk of amputation. That was the main motive of my uh, study or my uh, treatment. And uh, most of the cases I treated is outpatient because I don't have IPD set up in my clinic. I run uh, two branches in Chennai, uh, but I, 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 I have only OPD set up. And uh, I allow the patients to continue with allopathy medications. If they are taking any other uh, supportive therapies like acupuncture or therapy, I ask them to continue that. 
This is the inclusion criteria. As I said, I have been treating the cases, but only for the paper study, I have done last five cases in my clinic and I have arranged it in the statistical manner. The patients visiting my clinic at Chennai have been considered. The age group limited was 40 to 70 years. All patients took homeopathy internally. Medicines were given only to ulcer. Whereas dressing and hypoglycemic drugs were allowed. If the patient directly coming to me without taking allopathy drugs, so I treated even sugar with my medicines. Blood sugar levels were monitored periodically. Patients with comorbidities, severe comorbidities were avoided because those require, as we know, hospitalization. So those things were excluded in this criteria. My approach in this case was not constitutional, not anti-miasmatic, it was purely palliative. Dr. Richard Lux, I'll just remind you, he wanted us to handle any case under three levels. Individualization at the patient level, which we know constitutional approach, of course nobody has any problem in that. Second one is individualization at the systemic level. Like most of us use mother tinctures, organopathic remedies. Okay, those are aiming only at the systemic level. And the third stage of individualization, Richard Hughes reminds us, is individualization at the pathological level or palliative level, where we are concentrating only the disease. When you concentrate and take only the disease symptoms, we are palliating, and palliation is allowed according to Hanuman 67 footnote. When there is a danger to threat to the life of the patient, when we have to save the organs of the patient, then we can palliate the condition. This is the basis I took because I love Heinemann. After treating the cases only for the statistical analysis, I have followed this, uh, the recommendation, statistical recommendation and scoring recommended by the International Working Group on Diabetic Food. Since 1991, the American group has formulated this statistical formula to assess whether we have been treating the patient properly or not. The depth of the ulcer, the maceration process, the inflammation reduction or infection reduction and the size of the ulcer reduction and uh, the tissue development. And these are the criteria and the marks I have given is 0 to 2. And this is a procedure I followed as recommended by the International Working Group on Diabetic Food. And I have considered only 5 cases here for my study and I can say most of the time the success rate is 90%. Okay, I will show you the photographic evidence also. I will try to share the cases with you. This is a recent case. For the past 4 years I have been treating this patient. The first photo you can see. This is how the patient came to me. As I said in the previous slides, I considered only these medicines. Specifics are available and applicable only in palliative conditions. As far as my experience goes, these are the remedies which are acting very beautifully. Of course, I will give one remedy at a time. And simultaneously, I may support with mother tinctures also here and there whenever required. But I, I personally believe, and you can try also because it's a platform to share. Conference is a platform where you can share our own experiences. Uh, Arctic irons, antimonium crudum, silicia, arnica, montana, ruta, borax, and curcum longa. Recently, curcum longa is becoming very famous. And it has been considered as a remedy for cancer also. But one of the senior doctors was sharing with me that it is not Karkumulanga that works. The amount of the Karkumulanga and how you apply it. Because homeopathy believes in not medicine. It is the potentization. Amount of the medicine and susceptibility of the patient also matters. Right. So Karkumulanga is a very good effective antifungal as we know antibacterial remedy. Used by uh, abundantly used by Ayurveda and Siddha people. And today recently we have started using it. And for me also it is working wonders. You people can try it. Coming back to this. This fellow was an industrial worker. And uh, he developed uh, uncontrollable uh, sugar. And because of that eventually he ended with uh, ulcer. And I treated him. He is taking insulin for your information. I didn't oh, stop him from taking insulin. Along with insulin I treated him with Arctica urine only, Arctica irons only and in water dose. My method of water dose is 2 pills in 10 spoons of water and that solution 1 spoon every 1 hour he take. 
and the next day he'll dilute the same two pills in eleven spoons of water, and he'll take it ten times. This is our repeated, and within four months, this is the condition. And he started using wearing the company boots also. And the second case is the upper one is the first uh, stage one, and the lower one is the stage two. Uh, so the second case is of a, a real estate businessman. He was a Muslim, and uh, he was around seven to eight, two years of age. And he also was suffering with uncontrollable diabetes. Eventually, he developed a diabetic ulcer. I used first anthracinum single dose. You can see the ulcer type. The carbon kind of coating is there, which is a classical sign of anthracinum single dose. I gave later followed by borax and arctic urine. The same water dose alternatively I gave one after the other. Curcum lama I kept it. But it took six months for me to treat him, probably because of the old age. And the second one is I just wanted to share, Mr. Srinivasan. I took permission from the patient, so I can take his name. He called me from Hyderabad, and I treated him only over phone. And he is also a very old man of 78 years. And the first condition you can see, the top one, over phone phone consultation I did. Within one month, Artika Urens and Karkum Longa cured it. Within one month. And after treating that, he called me and he wanted to take homeopathy treatment for controlling diabetes. It's a success I feel. I'll end it. Thank you. And these are the two cases. Homeopathy is very effective. We have a lot to offer. Thank you, doctor. Thank you for the offer.